So the first recipe that we will be doing is the Mango Brazo de Mercedes Cheesecake, which is composed of a graham cracker crust, a no-bake mango cheesecake, a Brazo de Mercedes filling, and we'll top it with a Brazo de Mercedes meringue. The first step in making our Brazo de Mercedes uh, mango cheesecake is actually to combine the ingredients for our crust. So here we need uh, the graham crackers, we have sugar and melted butter. And also we are using a 9 inch uh, cake ring for uh, this recipe. Now if you don't have a cake ring, uh, pwede na yung uh, mga tub containers. You can also use that or you can also use a baking pan but just line the bottom and sides with aluminum foil just so pwede mo siya matanggal easily. So here we have a clean bowl. Uh, we will just be combining all our ingredients for the crust. Now uh, this one I actually use graham crackers. Now um, you can use any digestive biscuit you have at home, put it in. And then we have here sugar. So um, if you notice, you know, my ingredients are already portioned out even before I started uh, mixing them because I don't want to miss out any ingredients because put it in, you know, you get a little bit distracted while uh, preparing all these uh, ingredients and then it could happen then uh, you know may makalimutan ka so here we have the uh, sugar graham crackers and then we'll put in the melted butter so we will be mixing our ingredients for our crust just like this this is actually a very easy recipe that you can uh, make at home and uh, perfect na pang negosyo, especially with this coming holidays. So just until it forms like a wet sand. Now, um, the portioning of our butter and graham cracker crust is already perfect because you don't also want it to be so crumbly now when they when you cut the cheesecake the crumbs will fall apart so sakto lang siya so this is how it should be so when you press it like this it forms into something na ganito okay parang polvoron so this is good enough for me and then we'll put it in our uh, we'll put it into our uh, 9 inch uh, removable bottom pan or cake ring Okay, so to do that, just um, put the crust mixture, everything into our removable bottom pan. And then just distribute this. So first what I do is I try to level everything off and then paper press down more into the surface once this is all leveled out. So uh, this uh, cross no like what I said like what I mentioned earlier you can actually use um, other biscuits except for like yung mga salty na biscuits you can't use them. Okay, so this is leveled now, and then we press down firmly. You know, this is to make sure that they will not crumble or uh, fall apart later on when you slice them. So if you notice, no, may mga cheesecake na yung crust when you cut it, madaling mag crumble. That's because na you don't press them firmly, or sometimes medyo kulang ng butter. So this one is already good enough. 
Dishamakra crumble and um, Okay, so just press it firmly into the bottom surface. Now like this. And actually now with this one and then with our just mango, no baked mango uh, cheesecake filling, that becomes your regular no baked mango cheesecake in which you pwede ilagay mo sa tub, prepare mo sa tub, or you can also prepare it like this or in small plastic containers. So just like that, so that this is our crust. So this goes into our um, refrigerator. We'll chill this to set the crust before we prepare the um, cheesecake filling. So next is we will be preparing our mango cheesecake filling. For this, we will be using Swiss Valley cream cheese and our uh, DLA mango filling and topping. So um, we have here two tablespoons of gelatin. We will just bloom it in our cold uh, mango juice or you can also use mango nectar. So sprinkle, uh, we will sprinkle the uh, gelatin into our mango nectar. Ganyan. So you need two envelopes of unflavored gelatin. Okay. Give it a light stir. So we will set this aside for about five minutes or until mag bloom siya. So uh, blooming the gelatin is very important because um, that will actually, um, so we can melt the uh, gelatin easily. Kasi na may granules siya. So it has to swell in liquid for it to be melted. So this will take around mga 5 minutes. So after 5 minutes, this is how the, um, the gelatin is gonna look. Medyo swollen na siya, like this. So we have here simmering water. Of course, I'm using a heat proof na, na measuring cup. So we are gonna melt the gelatin just like that. Okay, so if you don't have any um, if you don't have any heat proof bowl, pwede naman na you get a stainless steel bowl and then put it, you know, on top of simmering water. Or you could also use a microwave oven for this. Alright, so we'll melt this until, we will melt this until the gelatin is uh, clear. Okay, so this is almost done. If you notice, no, nag clear up na yung uh, gelatin. So it's uh, melted now into our mango nectar. So we'll set this aside and then we'll prepare the rest of our ingredients for our cheesecake filling. After melting our gelatin, let's proceed to our other ingredients. So we have here Swiss Valley cream cheese, which is about two cups. Now, ito siya, I already have put this at room temperature. The very reason why na I want to make sure na this uh, cream cheese is at room temperature is para mas madali mahalo. Because what would happen if, you know, the cream cheese is really cold, it's nagiging crumbly yung texture. And you do not want that. Dapat yung texture ng cheesecake make sure mo is really smooth. So we also have here sugar, condensed milk, the mango, uh, DLA fruit filling and topping. And we also have our 
uh, whipping cream, the Master Martini Gold Whipping Cream. So the first step that we have to do is to put our uh, Swiss Valley cream cheese into our mixing bowl. Yeah. So put two cups. Actually, no, for this, uh, this recipe can actually be good for uh, two dalawang nine inch na cheesecake if you're doing a uh, mango brasso de mercedes cheesecake but if you're only doing a mango cheesecake na plain you can um you can uh put the whole recipe of the cheesecake filling into our crust so we'll beat this first until maging light and creamy lang siya and then we will gradually add the sugar okay so we stop and make sure to scrape the sides of the bowl and uh, from our paddle just to make sure that um, everything is uh, to make just to make sure in a smooth yung mixture so uh, for some of you who doesn't have any KitchenAid mixer pwede naman siya hand mixer or wooden spoon um, the only thing is that na dapat very soft talaga yung cream cheese just so na uh, maging smooth yung uh, cheesecake mixture nyo so this is already uh, nice and smooth so next is we will add our granulated white sugar. Okay, and then So the nice thing about the uh, Swiss Valley cream cheese is uh hindi asim. It's not very sour and it just complements very well with anything you add um, say for example no, you have say uh, chopped uh, chocolate cookies like oreo that becomes your or uh, cookies and cream cheesecake so if you use some asim na cheesecake then uh, medjindi na go complement very well with you know the chocolate so that's why i like uh, swiss valley cream cheese because balance lang yung ano niya, yung uh, profile niya for a cream cheese not too sour okay so next is we will add uh, condensed milk Here, our um, gelatin and mango puree na we melted over uh, our saucepan. So, we will add this to our cream cheese uh, mixture. Okay, we stop once in a while to make sure that everything is well mixed. So make sure you scrape all the sides. I think this is now ready. So we'll give it one more scrape and check if there's still lumps. If wala nang lumps, then we are setting this aside and we'll whip our two cups of Master Martini Gold Whipping Cream. Our next step is to uh, whip our two cups of Master Martini Gold uh, whipping cream. So I have here a whip attachment of our KitchenAid. Now it is very important na you work with uh, cold equipment for uh, whipping the cream. So the cream should be uh, chilled and cold 
the whisk, I usually uh, chill uh, my whisk just so mas maganda yung whip ng cream. So uh, this is two cups of heavy cream. So we whip this until around medium stiff. So we have here our whipped cream and our cream cheese mixture. So this one, I'll just fold this into our heavy cream. So what I'm gonna do is get a little bit of the heavy cream first and then fold it gently. Okay, and then we'll fold the rest of our uh, cream cheese mixture into our heavy cream. So when you fold, cut at the center, scrape the sides, cut and scrape, cut at the center and scrape. So this alone is actually your uh, no-bake cheesecake base. So except na we use the mango uh, nectar or a mango juice. But if you use just regular milk, um, that becomes your usual base. So you can add any topping and filling you want. So this is all mixed. Texture is very nice. So this is our prepared uh, crust that we chilled. Uh, but before that, we, it's, it's either you can fold uh, about half a cup of the mango, uh, DLA mango filling into our mixture or you can swirl it into our cheesecake. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'm going to uh, put dollops or spoons of the DLA mango filling and then swirl it into our uh, cheesecake. So like what I mentioned earlier, this actually is good for like two, um, two sets of this uh, recipe. So we'll just level it off like this. Okay, and then we have here a spoon. So we put uh, spoons of the DLA mango. And then we swirl it into our batter. So swirl it into our batter. Okay, and then we'll level it off. Okay, so we will chill this until our cheesecake is set. So that would take around mga two to four hours. You can put this in the freezer for about two hours and then take it out and then we'll put in our Brasso de Mercedes filling and meringue. So for those naman uh, uh, who wants to sell this in like foil pans like this, I'm gonna show you how to assemble it. So I have here our cheesecake batter, I mean cheesecake filling. So just put, split this. So this is still from our uh, initial recipe. No, I'm just uh, showing you um, a variation on how you can um, pack this for negocio. So um, actually this is reminiscent of like a frozen Brasso de Mercedes, except na instead of ice cream, we have the cheesecake uh, 
papel. So just level it off first and then we will swirl our DLA um, DLA fruit filling. Okay, so we have here our So just swirl it para mag marbleize lang siya. So if you notice, my uh, cheesecake filling is also starting to set because it's actually very cold here now in uh, New York. It's about fall. So um, the temperature in our living room is um, almost like in the parang naka air condition na. Okay, so just like that. Okay, so we will chill this until this is also set. While our mango cheesecake is chilling in the refrigerator, we will be making our Brazo de Mercedes filling. So here we have condensed milk. So we'll just mix um, our ingredients for the Brazo de Mercedes filling in a thick saucepan. So in the Philippines, you can find uh, Bravo condensed milk. You can use that. And then we have here evaporated milk or you can also use uh, Conaparoli uh, full cream milk. And then we have here egg yolks. And then Cornstarch. So cornstarch is our uh, thickening agent for this recipe. When using a whisk, we will stir all ingredients until they are well combined and we will cook this over medium heat or until this is until this is thick. So um, medium heat until this resembles like a pastry cream okay so towards the last we will be adding uh, butter to this uh, filling okay so constantly stir this uh, filling mixture until this is thick the reason why you have to constantly stir it is para walang buo buo Okay, so this is almost ready. If you notice, it's uh, really thick now. So once it starts to thicken, um, try to cook it for another minute just so maluto yung cornstarch. Okay, so this is all done. And then last is we will add our butter.
Now let's make the meringue for our mango brazo de Mercedes cheesecake. So what is really a meringue? A meringue is actually a combination of egg whites and sugar and you also add a stabilizer in the form of the cream of tartar. So uh, without the cream of tartar, you can also use uh, vinegar or uh, calamansi juice, um, just equal portions. So if the recipe calls for one teaspoon of the cream of tartar, you can also use one teaspoon of calamansi juice or lemon juice or vinegar. So here we have a very clean bowl and to this we'll put in um, egg whites. So we also have the uh, cream of tartar and then we'll beat this until frothy stage. Making meringues is actually easy yet uh, it can also be very tricky. So one of the few things that you should always remember is that um, when you make meringues your egg whites should be free of fat or any traces of egg yolks and also you must make sure that the uh, whisk and bowl that you're using is also free from any traces of oil or the egg yolk. So now this is a frothy stage. We will gradually add our uh, granulated sugar. Okay, so gradually add uh, the granulated sugar. Now, actually, uh, because we're using KitchenAid, we could have damped everything in together. But for those who does not have any KitchenAid mixer, uh, make sure that you beat the egg whites until you see fine bubbles before you actually add the sugar. So now we will beat the egg whites until stiff, until around medium stiff. So I'll be showing you the different stages of the egg whites. So this is actually around soft peak stage. So if you uh, lift the whisk and if you notice the tip is pointing downward. So that is soft peak stage, okay? So m we will beat this egg whites until medium stiff. Now, typically for my Brasso de Mercedes, I usually beat the egg whites until medium stiff or else uh, if I beat it too uh, stiff, the uh, meringue actually sometimes cracks. So um, that's why I use uh, medium stiff for uh, my Brasso. Okay, now we are, I think we are at medium stiff. So what you do is lift the uh, beater. And then if you notice, the tip of our meringue points to the side. So this is actually medium stiff. So we uh, take out the excess egg whites from our uh, whisk and then we'll fold in uh, cornstarch. So the cornstarch in our recipe actually provides uh, more structure to our meringue. Okay. So we'll take this out and we will fold uh, cornstarch to this uh, egg white. So our meringue is actually almost ready. Last is we fold uh, about two tablespoons of uh, cornstarch. So how do we fold? So you scrape from the sides, cut in the center, and then scrape again to the sides, okay? So just until the cornstarch is incorporated into our egg whites. Okay. So this is ready. Now, this uh, egg white mixture can actually make um, two uh, round uh, discs of meringue and two of the small ones. So this uh, uh, recipe is good for at least around three recipes. So if you don't if you don't want to make this much, but then amanda you can half the recipe into two, and um, and um, just make you know if you need uh, more. So say for example you made like one I made earlier. Now one big one. Tapos may dalawang maliliit. You can also do uh, this batch and then just uh, you know split the uh, mixture. So. I have here parchment paper and this is a cake ring. What I'm gonna do is um, 
We'll put egg whites into the cake ring. Okay. So make sure that the uh, make sure that you put um, meringue on the uh, bottom surface. We'll just take a little bit. So uh, for our Brasa de Merced as a meringue, you only need to do like a one and a half inches or two inches of our uh, egg whites. I just like it uh, a little bit on the thicker side because uh, it blends very well with um, the uh, thick na cheesecake filling as well. So, my balance. So, make sure that this is all evened out. Okay, and then what we do is we take it off from the ring, okay? So, this is our uh, meringue for our mango brasso, and then we run the top with cake comb. You can do any style you want. You can run through like uh, straight lines or you can also um, do something like this na uh, flour, okay? We'll bake this in a preheated oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the top turns golden brown in color. Okay, so this is our baked meringue. So if you notice, it has a very light golden brown in color. So what we'll do next is we will transfer this into our cheesecake. So just like this. After transferring the meringue into our um, uh, mango cheesecake, you can dust the top with either powdered sugar or granulated sugar. Now, if you notice, the Brasa de Mercedes in some of the bakeries now, they appear that they have a very thin coating of caramel. Actually, that's from, you know, the sugar. So what I'm going to do is I'll sprinkle some sugar on top, granulated sugar, and then leave this overnight to set, okay? Just like that. So again, you know, you have the option whether if you want to use, um, if you want to use powdered sugar, you can go ahead and use powdered sugar. You can also use granulated sugar for this. I like granulated sugar better. Okay, so we will chill this overnight and we will unmold this uh, the next day. Okay, so this is our uh, mango brasa de Mer uh, mango brasa de Mercedes cheesecake. Now we'll put some whipping cream on the sides, but if you want to skip the whipping cream on the sides, that's also totally fine. Um, it's also nice to show the layers, but I just like uh, an extra cream. So what I'm gonna do is um, this is just a regular heavy cream that I whipped with uh, some powdered sugar. So the ratio of the cream that I used here is uh, cream to powdered sugar is one cup of the heavy cream and one fourth cup of uh, powdered sugar. So just a thin coating of the um, whipping cream. So 
so just to ice it Okay. Just run your um, spatula and then what you do is um, clean the sides of your board. Okay, so if you are uh, selling this, you have to assemble this. I mean, you have to do this when the cake is on the cake board. Okay, so for the cream that we have here on top, just pull it to the center. Okay, so now we have here um, a piping bag fitted with a star tip. Okay, so we have here a pastry bag fitted with a star tip. We'll pipe rosettes on top, okay? So this is how you pipe a rosette. So from the center, just scroll up, and then that's it, okay? So we'll pipe resets all around our cake. Okay, and then last is we will put some of the DLA mango onto our pipe resets. Just some bits of the mango. Okay, so this is our mango uh, Brasa de Mercedes cheesecake featuring Global Pacific Swiss Valley cream cheese and the DLA mango filling and topping.